October 14th, The Key to the Missionary's Work Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Matthew 28, verses 18 through 19. The key to the missionary's work is the authority of Jesus Christ, not the needs of the lost. We are inclined to look on our Lord as one who assists us in our endeavors for God, Yet our Lord places Himself as the absolute, sovereign, and supreme Lord over His disciples. He does not say that the lost will never be saved if we don't go. He simply says, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations. He says, Go on the basis of the revealed truth of my sovereignty, teaching, and preaching, out of your living experience of me. Then the eleven disciples went to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. Matthew 28, verse 16. If I want to know the universal sovereignty of Christ, I must know him myself. I must take time to worship the one whose name I bear. Jesus says, Come to me. That is the place to meet Jesus. All you who labor and are heavy laden. Matthew 11, verse 28. And how many missionaries are? We completely dismiss these wonderful words of the universal sovereign of the world, but they are the words of Jesus to his disciples meant for here and now. Go therefore... To go simply means to live. Acts 1 verse 8 is the description of how to go. Jesus did not say in this verse, Go into Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, but you shall be witnesses to me in all these places. He takes upon himself the work of sending us. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you. John 15 verse 7. That is the way to keep going. Where we are placed is then a matter of indifference to us because God sovereignly engineers our goings. None of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy and the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus. Acts 20, verse 24. That is how to keep going until we are gone from this life.